guys you might have know about core web vitals and page experience will become one of the ranking signal the algorithm is not yet updated uh, but google has given plenty of time to work on it uh, after that we use page speed insight tool to check the website performance but you may wonder i am using good hosting plan and cdn even though i am not scoring good in good at page speed insight tool what can i do is this your situation today i am going to discuss with you about top 5 features that you added on your website that kills your website performance without your knowledge let's check it out one by one the number one thing on my list is google font around 53 percentage of the top 1 million websites are using google fonts but by properly optimizing google fonts you can have a huge impact over the website performance okay then how can i do google font optimization the number one thing is use minimum font families and variants and download those set of fonts which are using in your website i would recommend you to choose only two fonts one for heading and another for content throughout the website and the number two is combine all the font request into single request for example you can see seven to eight request are made only for fonts you could combine all those request into single request these not only reducing the http count but also improving the loading time and the third thing is use dns prefetching and pre connect and host the google font locally these all helps to speed up the process you can do all these manually or by using plugin if you want me to show how to use it manually or by plugin please let me know in the comment section i can do an another video for it and the for plugin i would recommend optimize my google font i personally use this plugin and it helped me a lot number 2 on my list is google recaptcha google recaptcha is a free service by google it is used as a default option in many contact form plugins such as ninja form uh, contact form 7 or wp forms when testing your site on page speed insight you could see um, how much bloating it is causing for your website you could see recaptcha underscore en.js file uh, listed under under the error uh, reduce javascript execution and remove unused javascript in when i test my client site i saw a big impact on page speed insight score before and after removing the google Rap recaptcha from the site okay then what could i use instead of google recaptcha well you can use the google recaptcha but by doing some codings behind it you can manually loading on custom trigger event that is when user interact with the form we, we are going to trigger the google recaptcha in the description below i have given the link to how to manually load google recaptcha on custom trigger event or otherwise you can invest on any anti spam services the next one is google map if you are using google map on your website to help your user to visit your store you probably helping the visitor but the dynamic google map takes so long time to load and is so heavy you won't believe me it takes about 70 request and it take even up to 2 seconds to load for mobile it takes even more so what can i do do i need to remove that google map no the solution is simple you screen capture static jpg image make it an image link to open a new tab with google map so it's very simple to use as a result you are you are still using google map but your site is light and super faster the next one is tracking code we might follow several marketing strategy to bring up our website whether it may be paid ads facebook ads anything we measure the its performance by adding the tracking code onto the website 
mainly on header section but after using google tag manager we all tied up all the tracking ids and manage everything under one place at google tag manager but some of them may forget to remove the tracking id injector on the website on header section this may cause us double tracking and slows the website performance so remove all the tracking code from the website except the gtm google tag manager you can check the installation of tag using google tag assistant if you want me to show how to use google tag manager and google tag assistant please let me know in the comment section i will do an another video for it the number 5 on my list is jetpack plugin jetpack is a default wordpress plugin with many features if you are unaware of its working then definitely you are killing website performance this jetpack plugin has many features which involves an another third party services such as gravatar site stats site backup seo tools site verification and so on the list is very big if you are using separate plugin for any of these features then you are going to add redundant feature for your website so be careful deactivate all the redundant feature in the jetpack plugin i'm not only talking about the jetpack plugin revise all other plugins you are using on your website whenever you are adding a plugin you are adding an additional php code css and javascript to your website so be caution on adding each and every plugin to your website these external resources increases the loading time and downs the website performance so keep all the plugin at minimal thanks for watching my video and i hope you definitely learn new things which are causing harm for your website and how to resolve them and you definitely understand how to improve page speed inside score if you find this video useful please like and subscribe and follow me on linkedin and twitter please find the written version of the video on the link given in the description see you on another useful video until then this is age signing off